What's going on? Today we have deadlifts and pause squats for uh, the part of the full body day. Uh, it is day five of my split. I had a rest day yesterday. A much needed rest day, actually. I was very tired. Um, Drake just dropped his album, so I've been vibing to that all day. It's been pretty good. It is the morning time. I woke up around two hours ago, had some breakfast, and obviously heading to the gym now. You guys are against my window. <laughs> okay. So uh, I just want to talk a little bit about what we're doing today. Also, uh, something finally came, which I don't know if you can see in the back there, that little blue bag. I don't know if you see in the back there, that little blue bag, but uh, my inserts came. My inser knee sleeves. So hopefully I can start squatting some real weight. Um, I tried them on and they're super freaking tight. So I'm wearing sweatpants today. And I'm going to try them for sure when I do pause squats. Um, obviously, they're pretty light today still. But I want to see what they feel like and see if I can still hit depth. Because I know a lot of people complain that they can't hit depth the first few times they use them. Just because they're so tight. Which is honestly fine with me. Um, I'll get used to it, I'm sure. But you got to break them in. So you got to start wearing them. I was expecting them to take a lot longer to come. They took about three weeks. I was expecting about 12. So I'll, I'll take it for sure. Um, my new phone comes today. Hopefully uh, before I get back. I can pick it up and get the new phone. It'd be really nice because my phone is kind of kind of shitting itself at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm going to talk about I'm changing the split up a little bit. All the movements are pretty much staying the same. Um, I'm changing out Spado for Larson's just because I've seen for hypertrophy, at least Larson's are a little bit better. Um, I'm also changing out SSB squats for belt squats just so I can get some more quad work because my quads are probably one of my weaker points in my body, if not the weakest point on my body. So I'm changing uh, that. And I'm changing the split to an upper lower type of thing. So right now I just do full body. Um, I just do my two main lifts or my one main lift for the day. And then just a bunch of accessories, a bunch of bodybuilding accessories like way more than I probably should be doing. Um, so I'm gonna change that a little bit and I'm gonna make it so that I'm doing my main compound or my two main compounds. And then it's going to be all accessories for a, sort of the same muscle group, at least for upper and lower. So like whenever I squat or deadlift, I'll be doing lower body stuff. Whenever I bench, I'll be doing upper body stuff. I just, I think it works a little bit better just cause again, I don't get sore. So I can do six days a week. I'm not worried about that. And I want growth, but for it to be more of a power building or power lifting plan, more than a power building plan, to be honest, um, you kind of have to just hammer the shit out of the muscle the days you do it. So like the days I do any type of bench press, my whole upper body should be absolutely destroyed. And right now it's not like that. Right now, like today I do squats, I do deadlifts, squats, hip thrusts, and then barbell curls or, or whatever, like an abs. So like they're just thrown in randomly just to make it so that throughout the week I get the volume, which in theory does work. And I'm not saying it doesn't work. And it's still a very valuable plan that I might still use. Just I want to try out upper lower and see if maybe every time I do upper, I destroy my, I destroy my whole upper body. Every time I do lower, I destroy my whole lower body. See if maybe I get sore or see more muscle growth or see more strength or or less. If I see less, obviously, I'll go back to full body. Uh, if I see more, then I'll stick to it. So we'll, we'll see. I have another six weeks of hypertrophy for block. Um, so I'm going to try the next six weeks for that block unless, obviously, I don't like it. Then I'll switch back to this. But it's basically the same thing. The progression is the same. The weights will be the same. It's just a different split. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to experiment with that a little bit uh, starting on Sunday which means today I'm kind of improvising because today normally I would be doing deadlifts and SSB bar squat. Um, but instead I'm going to do pause squats because I think it's a little bit more valuable for me. And uh, next, tomorrow I'm going to do competition bench and I'm going to add close gear bench as well so that on Sunday I can start the new plan because my week kind of starts on Sunday, which is a little weird for most people, but I'm doing Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, th or Tuesday, Wednesday, and then taking off Thursday. So for upper, lower, upper, lower, you want it to be a four day and a two day, not a three and a three. So I'm doing a four to two and it's starting on Sunday. Um, just the way my schedule works out. Obviously you can do it however you want if you end up running it. But let's listen to some Drake.
Let's sip on the pre. Let's get in the gym. All right, we got four sets of six. Let's get it. Three more. squats so from what i've been told you have to fold the top and the bottom how do you do it though you like fold you can get him help joe help how do you fucking put these on I just bought them first day. They're gonna be stiff as. I like first. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't wear those. Are you? Why? You're not gonna get them up with my pants on. You don't think so? No, nah, I'm gonna try. Really? It's not. That's like an extra inch on your leg. The, everybody said wear pants so they come off easier. Really? Bro, it just adds. Dirt. It's gonna be that bad. Yeah, you, I, 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 you think? Oh god, let's see. Pull all the way down. No, 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 not the bottom. Don't pull the bottom. All the way down. All the way down. Now, bigger fingers all the way up from there. And yank that shit up as hard as you can. <laughs> They're medium, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, I want to just. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And just unravel them. Oh, you're gonna you know, pull it back down again? <laughs> Actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So get your fingers as high up in there as possible. Just, oh no, no, in, up here in the side now. Higher, higher, whole hands, and then like slowly get it like this. Don't let it unravel over itself. Yeah, like slowly get it so this part's rolling in. Don't let it overlap. <laughs> Bro. You gotta keep doing it. 
goes go front back, front back. Because <laughs> once it folds over itself, it's impossible to unravel it now. Okay. So you have to slowly, slowly do it until it covers your leg. Completely. Oh, my calf is going to be fucking get destroyed, huh? Uh, I take mine off between more. That's in between. Oh, oh. It's coming. It's going. Slowly. Back and forth. Back and forth. And then we'll, we'll go on. Let's see. There we go. So it's unraveling now? Unraveling slowly. Yeah. Keep doing it. If it's good enough to just go over now, it's fine. Perfect. There we go. If you hold it over, there's a crease there. You're not oh. going to you're not be able to take it off. How am I hitting depth with this? You need, you need more than a plate to hit depth <laughs> What the fuck? How do they feel? They feel fucking tight as hell, bro. Oh Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't know if I'm going to go to depth. There's no shot. Breaking these motherfuckers in is going to be... All right, let's see. This one looks like it's a little easier. What do you think? Higher? A little higher, yeah, higher. Like, pull it from here. I can't. You can't. You have to do it from here and just like push up. Wait. No, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. This isn't bad. I got it. I got it. Next time, do strap. Bro, without pants on? I know, but without pants on, the show would be fucking impossible. Oh no. Alright. God damn. <laughs> So I just realized the mic was not on for the last clip. So you have no clue what I said. Pretty much said, go get you a pair of injuries. They're fucking crazy. Um, I was eating my gummy worms. Get some carbs in me. And we're moving some heavy ass weight. That was a crazy PR on pause spot. Um, never have I done 95 kg. I said 100 kg for three sets of five. After deadlifting. So that's pretty crazy. But again, let's move some weight here. Go get you a pair of injuries.
All right, got some fucking hip thrust heavy PR for me if I hit 10. Let's fucking get it. The thrust is shit, buddy. Let's go. Easy, but you take it. Woo, PR. at all. Awful reps, awful, terrible. I keep forgetting that if I don't turn the mic on, there's no audio. Um, but leg extensions, massive PR, under 10 for 10, probably not even RP, like six or seven. It's supposed to be RP eight. I'm under extended a lot. Now we got some curls and abs, and we're done.
I'm cramping. Ow. Oh my god. Drake is carrying the shit out of me. All right. So normally I would pose, um, but unfortunately I forgot to bring shorts. So I'm just wearing underwear under this, and I'm not about to go pose in front of everybody with underwear to check out a leg pump, which I hardly have because I was there for three hours, which you guys can't see, but I was there for two hours and 52 minutes. So, pump did kind of die out. Um, but holy shit. Inzers. Go buy you some Inzers. Let me tell you. Those are insane. That was the craziest thing I've ever experienced in my life. I had a 7.5 kilo PR for three sets of five. It was, it was a one rep pause squat 7.5 kilo PR. And I hit it for three sets of five. I hit 7.5 over what I hit for one. For three sets of five. At RP six or seven. That is insane. Go get you some injures. They are worth it. I promise. Took like three weeks to get here. One of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. Um, So squats obviously felt really good. Deadlifts always move pretty well for me. I'm, I'm definitely I'm definitely like what I call a deadlift specialist. Uh, even though my, my poles are all pretty like even. But my deadlifts just move super easy. And they always like have more in the tank. So deadlifts are going really well. Uh, tomorrow I got comp bench. And I might do close grip because, like I said, I was switching the split up a little bit. So I might do comp bench right into close grip bench and then kind of cut the accessories a little bit. Uh, we'll see how that goes, though. And then Sunday I deadlift again, which is obviously a bad idea because that's only two days away. But for me to start the program, I'm going to have to just deal with it for a little bit. So it's the same thing I did today with an extra rep. It's not terrible. Um, it might mess me up a little bit, but it, it should be okay. If it's so bad, I just will maybe like take a day off or something, but... I think I'll be okay, personally. Um, I don't know. But workout was really good. Um, the guy that helped me put on my knee sleeves is Joe Bornstein. I don't know if you guys know powerlifting at all, but he's insane. He's 20 years old. He's got second place in USAPL natties. Um, he's a demon. He's really nice. Uh, gave me some advice and helped me put on my knee sleeves, which is very helpful. Uh, getting those off was actually not that bad getting them on was in impossible i do have pants on so i don't know if i made it harder or easier i've been told it helps it take them off maybe it's harder to get them on we'll see when i squat without them um without pants on at least which will probably be the next time i use them but holy they felt crazy i felt really 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 good uh, i just got a new protein powder because i ran out of my other one so i get to go have some free pebbles some isotope fruity pebbles uh, is my post-workout shake when I get home with some Rice Krispies and a banana signature. I actually love that meal so much. Um, I meal prepped two different meals yesterday. I meal prepped uh, uh, buffalo, honey buffalo chicken mac and cheese and uh, beef chow mein. Macros are really good on both of them, obviously. 
and it, they, I enjoy it. It's just a lot of work when you meal prep, but now I have food for the next four days. I don't have to worry about it. All I have to figure out is one meal a day pretty much, which I usually have like a yogurt bowl or like rice cakes if I want. Like I've already met my protein for the day and I just want a snack. I just need some rice cakes. Get to enjoy life a little bit, honestly. So pretty much I can discuss kind of uh, the weight class situation with me. So I'm around 6'1". I'm in between 5'11 and 6'1". I don't actually know. I always say I'm 6'1", um, but I don't know. I, I'm in between 5'11 and 6'1". So I'm just going to say for purposes of me not having to fill out as much, I'll say I'm 5'11". If I'm 5'11", according to almost every single chart, okay, phone almost dropped on me. According to almost every single chart that I've ever looked at for powerlifting, I need to weigh at least 105 kg, which is 240 pounds or 210 or something. Um, I weigh 173 at the moment today. And when I compete in January, my goal is to be at 181, which is the 82 and a half kilo weight class. So 82 and a half kilos, um, is is a good class but it's very competitive which is good but i'm way too tall and way not filled out enough obviously i've only been powerlifting for a few months and i've only been training in general for a few years so it, i have time to fill out obviously and i'm gonna fill out but i basically get to bulk until i hit 210 or 240 it depends how strong i am at that time but i basically have to bulk for like two and a half years straight and i don't really know what to do because i either Obviously, I don't want to get fat, right? I'm pretty lean right now. Um, you guys saw my last video of me posing. I'm decently lean. I have abs in the right lighting. I'm probably about 13, 14% right now. I've been bulking for about 13 weeks. Um, so I'm not going to stop this bulk at 16 weeks like I normally would. I'm going to bulk until my meet in January, which will be about 20 weeks in total of a bulk, or 22 weeks or something. I'm going to bulk till then. And then once I hit my weight class at 181, I, I'm going to see how I feel at 181. Um, I think I'm going to be way, way too light. The end. So I think I'm going to have to hit my, my class at 181, whatever it is. It should be right around the meet. Maybe maintain just like through the meet and then like a week after or so. And then start to bulk back up to try to get to the next kilo, which I believe is 90. Um, which is obviously a big jump again. But I have to just slowly build up weight and fill out and hopefully stay lean. So I don't know if I actually want to cut ever. I might just do maintenance phases for like a few weeks to just let my body to not have to eat so much and let my body adapt to just like my new expenditure, even though I've kind of not really, that's not really a thing, but I could just do like a mini cut. The problem is I don't want to drop weight. Like I want to be lean. Yeah. And I want to stay lean, but if I drop weight, it takes double the amount of time to put it back on. So like if I drop a pound, it takes me, it, it just say it takes me a week or two to drop a pound. It, it takes me two to four weeks to put it back on. If I'm gaining a half a pound a week is what I'm doing right now. It takes me two weeks and I should be able to like, I should pretty much be cutting at least a pound a week and I'm right now bulking half a pound a week. So if I drop a pound a week, even if I only cut for three weeks, that's actually six weeks of bulking to get back to where I was, which is really, really annoying. So I might just have to let myself get a little fluffy for a little bit. Maybe I just bulk to like 90 for my next meet, like after this one. Bulk to like 90. And then maybe just like stay there for like a whole session. Maybe just like cut cut to like middle, like off season. And then bulk back up to 90 for my meet again. I don't know. I just like, I don't really see me personally being able to fill out a 105 kg weight class within the next two, three years. Like I started at 195 super fat with no muscle. I cut all the way down to 150 and now I'm back at like 173 and I'm, I'm leaner than I was when I was 150, which is sick. Um, but getting back up to 195 is a lot, it's a lot of weight. And that's just for like the 90 class. It even be more than that. And the 105 class is like crazy. So I don't know. I got to think about that a little bit, but I'm excited to uh, be able to eat for a long time. Um, don't really have to worry about cutting for a long time. Maybe like in summer for like a few weeks, I'll just cut just so I can look good and not put on so much fluff and then eventually bulk back up. Oh, my camera. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be a, a fun process though. So hopefully you guys follow around it. with. Hopefully you guys go on it with me, a little process. Hopefully I can film a lot of it and hopefully you make some big number jumps in this meet. Everything's feeling really good right now. I hope my bench feels really good tomorrow. That's the only one I'm concerned about just because my bench has been kind of inconsistent uh, with form-wise and all that stuff. So 
hoping that stays consistent, keeps going up. Yeah, I probably won't see you guys for a few days because I'm going to start that new program. I probably won't film again until maybe I'm benching. Um, so maybe I'll do like a, a bench and a maybe like just like a bench and a full upper day, um, which I haven't done on the channel ever. So that could be fun. Uh, we'll see. But that might be like a week or so time. So I'm hoping to edit these last two videos, have them up soon, and then uh, post, hopefully film that one. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hope you guys enjoy this content. Uh, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.